Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today's video is from a poll that I took last week. I wanted to try something different. So I asked you all what you would like me to use for my next video. And no surprise, it's Dollar Tree uh, wood crates. So I figured I would tie this in with a playlist that I will tell you about in just a little bit. But for now, let's get into DIY number one. Now I know these are trays and not crates, but I thought they might count. So I apologize if I disappoint, but I'm taking two of these trays and two of these wooden plaques from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna take some wood glue and hot glue and I am going to uh, adhere the wood plaques to each side of the tray at the bottom. And then I'm going to add another tray uh, at the top of the plaque. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to assemble everything and then paint it all at the same time. So here it is all put together and you will see the rest in the final reveal. This video is part of the What Would You Make open playlist. It is hosted by a new host, Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and Connie from Connie's Woodshop and DIYs. And this month's guest host is Monica from Up All Night DIY. I will have all of these ladies' channels linked in my description box down below, as well as the playlist. So when you're done with my video, head on down to my description box and check out the playlist. You're going to love it. Now, let's get back into the DIYs. DIY number two. I have four of these wooden crates from the Dollar Tree, one of the trays also from the Dollar Tree, and these wood pallets, you guessed it, from the Dollar Tree. Now I do show five, but I only have four that I use in this project. So I am going to take wood glue and some hot glue, and I am going to adhere these two palettes end to end. Now I'm gonna take two of the crates and I'm going to use wood glue and hot glue. I'm going to stand them up and adhere them side by side, just two. And then I will do two more in the same manner. So now I'm going to take two, the other two palettes and I'm just putting hot glue and wood glue on the two middle um, slats and I'm going to butt the, I don't know what that's called, the piece of wood that's going perpendicular to the rest of the palettes <laughs> or slats. Anyway, I'm butting that up against the... Um, crates and then I'm going to just glue these down to these crates and then once that's done apparently I'm going to wipe up all of the excess uh, wood glue so it's not like all goopy for when I paint it Then I'm going to take the other two palettes, I mean <laughs> crates, and I am going to adhere them to the top of the palettes in the same manner. So the crates are all like stacked on each other, but the palettes are in between. So there is a little bit of a gap, which... I'm fine with, um, but yeah, 
So that's how that's looking. Now I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with this fifth palette. I don't know why I had it. So anyway, I ended up putting it aside and now I'm going to take the four crates and the two palettes and I'm going to glue them to the base of those two palettes that I glued end to end. I hope that makes sense, but you see what I'm doing. You know. And then I'm just gluing them to the back. Like I pushed it back on the palettes so that there was a little bit of a lip at the front, as you can see there. And then lastly, I'm going to take that tray and I'm just going to hot glue it uh, right to the top of this storage unit. And now this project is done, aside from the painting. So let's move on to DIY number three. I have, oh my good grief, 12 of these crates and one of these turntables from Walmart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create squares or create a square with four of these crates. So I used the lines on the crates to determine where I was going to put all of the glue. So again, I used wood glue and hot glue and I glued these two together and I'm just going to move forward gluing the other two together <laughs> to these two you know what I mean <laughs> anyway I left this whole process in just so that you could really see what I was doing here so I'm gonna let you watch and then we'll move on to the next step Now I've had this turntable for a while and it turns out it's a stackable, but I don't want to stack it. I just want to use the bottom part. So it does have three little tabs on the top um, where you would put the posts to hold the top one up. So I'm just hot gluing the crates, that square, to those tabs and it worked fantastic. So now I'm taking four more crates and I'm going to hot glue and wood glue them to the center of the crates that I have laying on their side. But these will be standing end to end, if that makes sense. You can see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm trying to explain it the best I can so that if you want to recreate this, you can do that. So once I get those four, I'm going to use wood glue and hot glue on the corners of those four. And I'm going to add four more on top of them. So um, I put my fingers in the back to make sure that the ends of the top four line up to the back of the bottom four and I hope that makes sense. 
Now I have this square wood piece from Michael's. It came in like a six pack or something. And I am just going to wood glue and hot glue that to the top of these four crates. And that will give this whole piece more stability for what I need it for. So now it's not quite big enough, so there is a little bit of a gap that you can see the crates, but I did center it so it, it looks intentional. So, and here it is. Now I am taking them all outside. I'm using this bare black matte spray paint and I have to tell you, I am not experienced at spray painting, so, uh, but I think it went pretty well. So I'm just leaving this in because I know some of you guys all like watching the spray paint. I don't know. That's what I've, I've seen. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I am just going to spray paint all three of these pieces and all three of these pieces are going to go in my new craft room as storage for or organizational pieces for my room. I love how they came out. Now, a lot of my stuff is still packed up, so I found what I could to put inside just so you could get an idea of what I'll be using these for. But just remember that, you know, once I get my craft room moving along and I am going to record it so that you guys can come along on my little journey of organizing my craft room but you'll be able to see exactly what I use these pieces for but I love how they came out you're going to have to let me know what you guys think of these I know that most of us are most of us crafters are all, well, I guess you don't have to be a crafter, but we're always looking for different ways to organize things. So this is my take on, you know, the wood crates. I want to thank everybody who um, participated in the poll and be on the lookout for another one this Tuesday. And uh, yeah. So here they are. I just put a couple little pieces in this small one. And then I have some of my wood tints and crackle and uh, unicorn spit gel stain just to show you and some little acrylic paints to show you how you could use this piece. And then my chocotour paste in this piece. Now I didn't fill this piece. I just kind of placed some in there so that you could see. But here it is anyway. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Make sure again, you're on the lookout Tuesday for the next poll. And make sure that you check out the playlist. I want to thank Brenda and Connie and Monica for hosting this awesome playlist. I love it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. It lets the algorithm know that you enjoy my content and it will push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you all in the next one.